Hello and welcome back to Nova Scotia. Welcome back to the Great Greenhouse Build 2020. And I'm on the inside. Starting to do a bit of inside work now. The roof's mostly watertight. I've got a few uh, drips here and there where I've put my sort of windows um, in. And I'll fix them as I, as I go along. But I'm, I'm getting amongst the inside now. Um, it's a beautiful December morning. Nice and mild. There's a a watery sun behind me providing a little bit of warmth. Um, I think it's going to be something like nine degrees today, which uh, you can't turn your nose up at this time of year. But inside doing this work, um, I've started um, doing the raised bed here, as you can see. I'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. And also, as you can see, I've started on this idea of, um, of a hotbed heater. That I'm creating um, to put manure in in the winter so that it will heat up and, and add a bit of heat to the greenhouse. Um, I'll probably be doing that around um, January, February time when I'm starting to sow seeds and, uh, and see how that works with providing a little bit of uh, heat around that area um, when my seedlings start coming through. But I'll talk about that a bit more how I've built that. Um, but let's have a look at this this raised bed I'm doing. And I'm used starting to use mostly um, bits and bobs uh, that I've got around the house rather than the bought stuff. You know, I've had to buy a load of stuff for the roof and the framework, etc. But now I'm getting back on the inside now to all my pallet bits and off cuts I've got here and there and whatever I can find, trying to make it look as nice as possible, but not pay out much money. Okay, as you can see, um, this is my my, the start of my raised bed um, that I'm building. It's just over two foot wide, just under two foot deep. And what are we? It's about 12 foot long. So that's a nice, nice bed and it's West facing, so as the, the sun goes through the, um, the summer sky, or whatever time of sky really, it's going to get the most sun in this greenhouse throughout the day, so that's good. Um, and all I've done is some pallet slats here that I had, I've just nailed them. First of all, I've put some old plywood I've got. I, get some, I can get plywood for my work uh, scraps that they... Um, that they're about to chuck away, etc. offcuts. And uh, I'll scrounge a load of those. So I've backed that all the way around the sides and I'm gonna put it on the front as well. Um, and then I've put some, some uh, plastic just to, uh, to protect the, um, the plywood, make it last longer. And then I've just, to make it look a bit nicer, I've put some offcuts, some pallets there like that. So I've nailed them across. And then that can also help me when I'm um, trying to put lids on, etc., to uh, maybe make it a bit of a cold frame in, in the in the autumn or early early springtime. So that's that. I put that all the way along, and then I've got these uprights here. I've bought this wood here because um, you know that, that's the trouble with offcuts. You can't get you know big long ones. So this is just some cheap spruce. And like I said, again, in front of that is going to be some plywood and plastic on front of that. And then I'm just going to put all the earth inside. I'm going to face it with some pallet wood. So all the way along there. So that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a chore, cutting them all. And I'll need quite a few um, bits of uh, slats like, but that's good, you know. I know it's off cut, but I want to make it as nice as possible. So all the way along there, that'll be that'll look quite nice, I think, once I've faced that off. And then obviously on the top there, to make it again look nice, I've got these, these slats all the way along around the edges. So that is this raised bed. Not bad, I think. I'll get on with that, shall I?
Hello, welcome back. Well, I've got a bit of ahead of myself, haven't I? I think you uh, left me in the last scene uh, and we'd only just about got the, um, the plywood a couple of bits along here. Um, it's been raining all day today, so it's not really been conducive to uh, filming with all the, the rain bashing down on the roof. So I thought I might as well carry on. What do you reckon? I'm liking it. So as you can see, um, finished off the framing on the top. These are just basically pallet slats all along the, the front here. I finished off the, um, the plywood backing all the way along. And I've put plastic on this, this front side now, as well as the back side. In fact, all the way around. Um, and then I've put all these pallet slats. Now, obviously, this is not the most efficient way of using these pallet slats because I've had to cut lots of, you know, bits off and, you know, I've wasted a few bits of, um, of the slats, although I'll be able to use them in some other sort of bits and bobs. But I think it looks really nice. All the way, all the way along there, I'm really pleased with it. On the back here, when I do this, I'm not going to do it downwards, I'll do it across ways and then I won't waste so much in the way of, um, of slats, but I'm really, really pleased with that. So, now this is done, it's on to the actual filling of the raised bed, isn't it? So I think we're going to do a bit of um, Hugel culture action to fill this bed up. Those of you who don't know what it is, I'll explain. Okay, so the bed is built. Now I've got to fill it up. Now, as you, I said, this is a sort of, uh, what was it? I think it's just over two foot, no, just under two foot high and two foot just over two foot wide and about, what was it, 12, 10, 12 foot long. So that's quite a lot of earth that's got to go in there. So what I'm going to do, and those of you who, who've, you know, watched quite a few of my videos before might have seen this video um, and, and it's up on the, the screen here now, I'm going to use Hugel culture techniques. Now, if you want to, uh, I'm not going to go right into to depth with it now. Like I said, that video uh, is a really good um, resource, if I say so myself. But basically what Hugel culture is, is it's, it's sort of mimicking nature and, and the forest, the way, the, way the, the trees fall over and then matter, organic matter sort of starts to form and fall over the, the logs and then things grow out of all of that organic matter. So what I'm going to do is, and what I've started doing here, as you can see, um, is put all sorts of old logs, um, <coughs> some smaller logs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it all up with uh, these big logs that I've got from a tree that was chopped down. And I'm gonna fill it halfway up with all these logs and leaves and, and all bits and bobs that I've got around, I'm gonna scrounge around the, the woods around me, fill it all the way up, and then what that's going to do is going to save me a lot of earth that I have to put in there, and then also, as that breaks down, that's going to feed all the, the microorganisms that's organisms that are hopefully going to sort of start to grow in this in this raised bed um, from the fungi, etc. And that's going to feed all that, and then that's going to feed the soil, and then that's going to feed the plants. So that's one of the the feeding things of actually um, the, the sugar culture and, and, the, and the, the wood breaking down. And then also, because it's, um, it's still, uh, you know, wood, etc., it acts as a bit of a sump. So in the, in the summertime, when it starts to get really hot in here, um, this will have held more water and will hold more water and it will start to release that water when the plants need it. Um, so it, it's, it's a bit of a water sump in there for, for the plants to draw on when it gets hot in here and I may not have watered it as much as I should have. So that's good. So there's three great things that um, putting all this wood and leaves etc. is going gonna, is gonna to help. It's going to you know, save me um, earth that I need to, to put in there. It's going to break down and, and feed the soil and feed the microorganisms in the soil and thereby feed the plants. And it's gonna act as a, a water sump throughout the summer, feeding, the, um, feeding the, the plants water when they need it. So I'm gonna get on with that, and, uh, and then I'll come back after I've uh, just about put all the, the wood and, and detritus in there.
Okay, so that's that filled up as much as um, I'm going to fill it up. So as you can see, there's all rotted logs, um, all sorts of different plant material. I've even put in the old kitchen scraps. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen the video I did on trench composting. That's up uh, on the uh, screen at the moment, if you want to have a look at that. That's a really good idea for if you haven't got space for actually having a compost heap, you can just literally dig holes where you're actually going to be planting next year and put all your, your kitchen scraps and, and compost under the ground like that. And that's what I'm going to borrow that idea here again, just to help fill it out a bit. I'll put a couple of pumpkins in there. I'm probably going to have three tonne of pumpkins growing up um, next year, but there we go. It's worth the, um, it's worth the risk. So that's that bit now. Now I'm just going to fill it up with um, some compost and earth that I've got. Get on with that, shall I? There we go, job done. I think I've probably got maybe another half barrel or so to do, but uh, I'm a bit puffed out. I'm on, um, I'm on day eight of my radiation therapy and uh, some of the side effects are starting to kick in a bit now. Fortunately, um, I was able to um, get Mrs. F to help me uh, to do a couple of uh, barrelfuls of this. I think that was five, five barrelfuls we had to uh, fill up that, even though, as you saw, you know, how much wood, etc., I put in. Yeah, so day eight of the uh, radiation therapy, getting a bit tired and um, lost my sense of taste, mostly, and anything I do eat tastes absolutely revolting. So that's a bit annoying. But 22 more to go, and then uh, I'll, I'll be done and dusted, hopefully. But there we go. Talking of done and dusted, that's the bed. Bed one in the greenhouse done. Obviously I've got on the side of me here, the main big bed I'm gonna be doing, which is gonna be something like, oh, what is it, like 10 foot by four foot wide. Um, I'm gonna be doing that, but I'm gonna be doing that last because I wanna be able to sort of move around in here and, and do bits and bobs. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is on this side here, is I'm gonna be building the benches for putting pots and, and, and seeds and all that sort of uh, seedlings, etc all along that, that side there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing next. So with this new earth, obviously um, after a few months, it's gonna settle and so, you know, settle through a lot of the, the wood, etc. and some of that rotted wood is gonna to start to settle down. So, you know, the level of this is gonna drop down anyway. And in the springtime, I'll renew the top with some nice compost from the compost pile, um, lift it up and that'll be set it off for the summer then. I'm gonna start using this bed probably in around um, late February, March. That's what I was, I'm pretty sure, this spring in, in, the, um, in the smaller greenhouse, I was harvesting salads from the, the green bed around March time, so March, April. So I'll be very pleased if I can do that this year. And I think this greenhouse, even though it's bigger, will be warmer because it'll get more sun in the, uh, the winter sun coming down here. And I'll have another sort of, uh, uh, covering over the top of this to make it uh, a bit of a cold frame inside. So that's it for this bed. Let's have a quick look at um, what I'm doing with this hotbed thing behind you there in the camera. In fact, where the camera is right this minute. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so here we have um, my idea for a, uh, a hotbed. So all I've done is obviously we know this is the divider between what's my greenhouse and what's my sort of potting shed side. Um, so that is a pallet all the way along. And then what again, I've got some offcuts of um, plywood that I'm gonna be using. And this is another pallet. Um, again, more offcuts of, of, uh, of plywood. And I've put a two by six over here to sort of make it look fairly nice. And I've got some sort of shelf to, to put things on and then and I'll have what I'm going to do is create another sort of gate here 
So it's not going to be a compost heap, so I'm not going to steadily fill it up. What I, you know, it will just be a pallet or something that I put in place and screw in place, and then I'll fill this right up to the brim with horse manure. A couple of uh, a couple of viewers, um, when I mentioned it in the last video, said it's going to smell like a barn in here, but you know. That's only going to be in the winter, and I don't mind it smelling like a barn, um, as long as it's doing me um, some free heating and providing me with some um, compost at the end of it as well. So what I'll do is I'll have that, fill it up, and then put a top on it, and then, and maybe a metal top as well, some sort of, and then I can put like seedlings, etc., on the top, and then they'll be warmed from underneath. And whenever it's, even if it's cold outside, they'll have that warming area around here, which will be uh, a good job, I think. So that's that, and again, I'll probably make, I'm, I'm not, in fact, I'm not gonna put plastic around this because at the end of the day, um, when this plywood rots, I can always take it off and put some new stuff on. So there's that, easy. Well, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Thought I'd just um, charge this up. Ridiculous. Well, that's me finished for the day. Um, and that's me finished for this video. Uh, I think I've done quite a bit. I'm really pleased. The, uh, the new, actually feeling, it's feeling a lot like a greenhouse with a new raised bed. Tell you what, my talents. You haven't seen half of them yet, have you? But anyway. New raised bed, new hotbed area, nice bits of uh, shelving going in. It's all starting to come together. Onto the, um, the shelves along here, the proper shelves in the next video, and, uh, and it can really start getting amongst it. I can really feel things coming together. Job is a good one.